Next to go green from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, CRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. David Gravel in car number two. Lap one for David Gravel, fifth, quick, 11, 663, 11663. Third here on the opening night last year, three times third. His best with the World of Outlaws in 13 starts at Beaver Dam. Second lap is in 11, 779. First lap better, but Gravel paced the field to the green flag in turn four. Macedo to the cushion with the early lead. David Gravel in second. Donnie Schatz riding third, and Logan Shuhart fourth as they reach the end of the back stretch. Gravel working the low line on the speedway. Carson Macedo right in the middle of the racing surface. Macedo maintains the race lead. He comes up top in turns one and two. Carson Macedo, David Gravel, one and two. Donnie Schatz third now being challenged by the one S of Logan. Shuhart, Shuhart trying to gain some ground work in the bottom of the speedway out of corner number four. Schatz and Shuhart back to the top of the racetrack in one and two. Top side faster in one and two. Multiple lanes available in corners three and four. Checkered flag waves. Carson Macedo picks up. The Microlight Heat Race victory. David Gravel finishes second. And there it is, outside front row for David Gravel. Man, you've podiumed here in a mass amount of times. What needs to go your way this evening to end up in victory lane? Get a good dash draw. Um, <laughs> obviously, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 22 cars. It, it's so tight, like top eight, top ten of the Outlaws, that uh, you got to qualify in that top six and uh, finish in the top two in the heat race. And, um, you know, with a six-car dash, the pill draw is pretty important, but when it's that eight-car dash start seventh or eighth, that's real hard to overcome. But uh, got a good pill draw tonight, and uh, this track is uh, one of my favorites, really. Just haven't won here, so hopefully it's my night. He'll roll off outside front row. Green flag is displayed. Selzy leads the field in the one and two. David Gravel jumps up to the cushion in hot pursuit. Gravel now challenged on the inside by the 49 of Brad Sweet. Gravel cuts the line off and maintains the second spot as lap number one goes in the books. Giovanni Selzy leading it. David Gravel runs in the second spot. Brad Sweet is third. Sheldon Hodden showed up top out of turn number two. Coming after the 41 of Carson Macedo for the fourth position. Sheldon rides the high side again through three and four, but up over the cushion. Gets a little squirrely, gathers it back in. Sheldon Hodden showed right back to the Cushion in one and two, and once again, trying to gain ground on the 41 of Carson Macedo. Sheldon now challenged low by the 83 of James McFadden. McFadden to the inside out of turn number four, pulls even and makes the pass. James McFadden getting by the 17 of Sheldon Huttenshield. Four laps down and four to go in the Toyota Dash. Giovanni Selzy leading it by one and a quarter seconds over the two of David Gravel. Brad Sweet riding third and fourth. It's Carson Macedo, James McFadden fifth, and Sheldon Hodden Sheldon is sixth. Giovanni Selzy extending the advantage to 1.4 seconds now. Selzy looking to put himself in a prime spot for his first World of Outlaws win of the season. He owns five in his career, including that first one back in 2018 when he became the youngest ever to win with the greatest show on dirt. One lap remaining, David Gravel up high out of turn number four, an opportunity now for the big cat to close. Brad Sweet coming after Gravel for second, a straightaway behind the race leader. Checkered flag will wave. Giovanni Selzy gets the win in the Toyota Dash. David Gravel finishes second. Feature action underway at Beaver Dam Raceway. Giovanni Selzy down low to the early lead, looking for a run. David Gravel closing the gap as they reach the third corner. Selzy works the bottom, Gravel on the cushion. Giovanni Selzy leads lap number one. Gravel in second, Brad Sweet third. Challenged on the top of the speedway by the 41 of Carson Macedo. And right there with them is the 83 of James McFadden. Gravel looks for the lead down low. Selzy fends off the charge. And now Macedo all over the big cat as they roar into corner number one. Sweet holds the spot, but Macedo just three car lengths behind him. Now Macedo challenged on the inside by J Mac McFadden side by side with a 41. James McFadden crossing the stripe in the third position. Selzy opening up the advantage at the front of the field. Traffic soon to be a factor for the driver of the number 18. A second and a quarter lead the last time across the start finish line. Five laps into this 30 lap feature. 
Lead has grown to a second and a half for Hot Sauce. Traffic now officially in play as he works to the back of the 19B of Jack Berger. Donnie Schatz now battling for the seventh spot with Jacob Allen. Schatz looking for a run on the Shark Racing 1A. Tucks to the inside of the speedway, but Allen down there to protect. Leader in heavier traffic, and now David Gravel feeling some pressure once again from Brad Sweet and from James McFadden. Gravel works the traffic now into quarter number three. Gravel on the cushion, Brad Sweet right in the middle, and then down low is James McFadden. Second, third, and fourth running three distinct grooves in the corners here at Beaver Dam Raceway. J-Mac with a run on the big cat, side by side into turn three. McFadden battling with Sweet out of quarter number four. McFadden forced to yield that low groove to the slower car of Jack Berger. Selzy looking really good in traffic. Gets by. Silver car Bill Rose works the inside lane on the speedway. David Gravel around the outside of Austin Hartman trying to keep pace with that number 18. Once again, McFadden with a run on sweet for the third spot, but can't make it happen as they roll out of corner number two. Multiple grooves, viable options for these drivers in our feature. David Gravel cutting into the lead, back down to a second and a quarter, and now Brad Sweet goes to the cushion in one and two, looking for a run on the Big Game Motorsports entry. Sweet and Gravel trying to cut the gap to leader Giovanni Selzy. Lap times in the mid-12 second bracket in feature competition. David Gravel getting closer to the race leader as we approach the halfway point. Gravel to the inside lane in one and two. David Gravel now just five car lengths behind Giovanni Silzi. Gravel on the bottom, Silzi on the top lap. Traffic high and low right in front of the leaders as we see the halfway signal. 15 laps down and 15 laps to go. And now Brad Sweet trying to make it a three car duel for the lead at the end of the back straightaway. Sweet to the cushion. Sweet with a run on Gravel into turn one. Works the middle of the speedway there. Can't do anything with Gravel. But again, Selzy having difficulty with the slower cars of Brenham Crouch and Josh Steinerman. They're side by side for position right in front of the race leader. Sweet trying to find a way around Gravel. Can't make it happen in one and two. Brenham Crouch up over the cushion, an opening for the race leader that he desperately needed. Again, first and third up high in turns. David Gravel, six tenths of a second back, follows Selzy around the cushion in one and two. Selzy to the top again in three and four, working the traffic. David Gravel there with him as they take the white flag. One lap to go. Selzy down to the bottom, held up by the slower car, Brenham Crouch. An opportunity for David Gravel on the back straightaway. Gravel to the inside in three and four. David Gravel trying to steal it, but Giovanni Selzy hangs on for his first win of the season. Gravel second, Brad Sweet third, James McFadden fourth, and Sheldon Hottenschild in fifth. An exciting conclusion to the opening night of the JD Memorial for the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series at Beaver Dam Raceway. I could react where he where he was going. I think the bottom was for sure faster in one and two. And then when lap traffic was running there, he had to move around. And, you know, that made me uh, be able to run the diamond move down there. And, man, I wish I uh, took the last lap back because I think I could have really won that race. Um, I just tried to dive too low on my slider. And then when I slid across, I hit the black and got real sideways and lost all my speed. If I was able to keep it straight across there, I would have cleared them for sure, but uh, congrats to Gio. Um, you know, these outlaw wins aren't uh, easy to win, and that's what's frustrating when you're so close to getting a job done. So um, Cody, Zach, and Scott gave me a great race car. Our big game motorsports number two has been really fast. Uh, he's at Speedway. Hopefully people could come out to the um, High Bank Nationals here next week, uh, 250000 to win. But, uh, yeah, I got to thank everybody at... Um, who do we got? Billion Automotive. We got JRC Transportation, uh, High Performance Lubricants. He's in the house tonight. Wish I could have got a win for him, but I got to thank Berryman Suspension and uh, Morrison Engines, Maxim Chassis. Um, without those guys, we couldn't do it. It's been a fun year, but uh, man, I, I wish I could redo that last lap. You talk about taking that last lap back. We have 10 extra laps for tomorrow's feature event. Do you feel like that plays into your favor? I think so. I think uh, our car I honestly wasn't really that good early. Uh, got the wing back and the car came to life and uh, 
<coughs> I think the last 10 laps, our car was the best all year, so our all, all race. So yeah, I, I'm down for 40. All right, guys, finished the night up here, night one Beaver Dam. Had some fans bring me some chocolate milk. I got like a 30 minute drive. Sassy cow. I believe it's local here in Wisconsin. I'm gonna give it a try. Definitely good stuff. Sassy cow. Sassy cow Kramer. I'm gonna go 8.7 guys. Very good. Thank you to the fan who brought it. <laughs> yeah, he'll be there. He's very social, so he'll be interacting with us. At uh, I-81 or whatever. It's our uh, Grand City. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, day two here at Beaver Dam. Beautiful day. Been in the t-shirt trailer here a while. Uh, the fans are so great here. It's my favorite state to race in. Um, looking forward to race for 20,000 tonight, 40 lap race. So uh, we were really good last night, just a little bit short. But uh, I think 10 more laps, it's a lot hotter today. I think the track's gonna be a little slower, a little more technical, and hopefully we can be on top here tonight. Qualifying now from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricant, CRC Transportation, number two, David Gravel. David Gravel in car number two. Career best at Beaver Dam Raceway last night with a second place finish. Lap number one for Gravel is ninth quick, 11 6 one 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 six three one. Gravel sits second in the World of Outlaws point standings coming into this evening. Six wins on the season, second lap time into the top five, fifth quick, 11, 5, 30, 1, 1, 1, 5, 3, 1. Two more drivers advancing to the Toyota Dash as the green flag waves. David Gravel leads the field into one and two. Carson Macedo, second, Brock Zirfoss around the outside of Casey Kane to take third. Bold move by Zirfoss, squeezing between the 49 and the outside wall. Now big time slide job in three and four for the 20G of Noah Gass as he gets by Austin Hartman and Brenham Crouch. Brock Zirfoss running third, trying to track down Carson Macedo for a spot in the Toyota Dash as David Gravel shows the way, turning laps in the 11.8 second bracket at over 92 miles per hour. Gravel Macedo one and two. Brad Sweet trying to close the gap between himself and the third place 3Z of Brock Zirfoss. Zirfoss higher on the speedway and one and two keeps the momentum built up. Noah Gass passing two cars on that opening lap, gaining six starting spots in the feature if he can hold on to it. Brock Zirfoss drifts up the racetrack, exiting turn two. That allows Brad Sweet to get slightly closer. David Gravel leading at the halfway point by 1.07 seconds. Gravel came oh so close to stealing the victory here from Giovanni Selzy in the final turn last night. Got ahead of him, but couldn't continue the momentum and slide up the racetrack in front, allowing Selzy to reclaim the lead. Three laps to go for David Gravel as he crosses the start-finish line. Brad Sweet desperately trying to get back by Brock Zirfoss and gain three more starting spots in tonight's feature. A little puff of smoke from Zirfoss's 3Z in turns one and two. Two to go for Gravel. 1.6 second lead for the Big Game Motorsports number two. White flag in the air, one lap remaining. All David Gravel out in front of this one. Brad Sweet not giving up on that third spot, but unsuccessful in any bid in one and two. Checker flag waves for David Gravel. A three is the only thing that has been drawn so far. Four for David Gravel. When we talked last night in post-race, you said you wish you could redo that last lap. You've got 10 extra laps tonight. Knowing how everything played out last night, how are you going to maybe change your approach to a 40-lap feature this evening? Uh, yeah, it's just... Uh 
you just got to stay on top of the racetrack. In 40 laps, the track's definitely going to change. Lines are going to change. So uh, starting fourth's uh, not a bad spot. Hopefully, uh, we hopefully get to the front row here in the dash. If not, um, you know, just trying to stay on top. And when that lane changes, hopefully you're on the front side of that. And uh, that's when you usually could get guys. So uh, the track's a little fast right now, but I think it's going to race really good uh, later on. David Gravel, he'll roll off fourth in that dash. Green flag waves and they go three wide for a moment down the front straight away. Sheldon Hodenshield jumps to the early lead right behind him. Spencer Baston, Jacob Allen, a quick peek to the inside of Baston, can't make it happen for second. He'll try the bottom again coming out of turn four. Sheldon Hodenshield leads in a three-car race for second now, shaping up between Allen Baston and David Gravel. Spencer Baston able to fend off the charge of the Shark Racing 1A and now David Gravel trying to make it work on the very bottom in turns three and four. Gravel can't get by Jacob Allen there. Sheldon Hodenshield out in front and pulling away. Three laps down and five to go. Now Carson Macedo getting a bit of a run on the number two of David Gravel. They'll race for the fourth spot, but Gravel smooth through the middle in one and two. David Gravel keeping pace with the 1A of Jacob Allen. Allen on the cushion, David Gravel in the middle. Jacob Allen hanging on to third with David Gravel right behind him. Three laps to go in the Toyota Dash. Two now for the NOS Energy Drink number 17. He enjoys a two and a quarter second lead. David Gravel slides up in front of Jacob Allen, third momentarily, Allen right back by him as the leader crosses under the white flag. What a battle between Jacob Allen and David Gravel for the third spot. Allen good on the cushion in one and two. Leader out of turn four for the checkered flag. Sheldon Hodenshield wins the Toyota Dash. Spencer Baston second, Jacob Allen hangs on for third, David Gravel in fourth. The green flag waves on the JB Memorial at Beaver Dam Raceway. Sheldon Hodenshield out to the early race lead. Battle for second out of turn two. David Gravel steals it from the number five of Spencer Baston. Gravel working well on the bottom of the speedway. Catching up with leader Sheldon Hodenshield. Lap number one in the books. Hodenshield on the cushion. David Gravel down low and turns one and two. Shark Racing teammates battle out of turn two and down the back straightaway. Jacob Allen and Logan Shuhart racing for the fourth spot. Allen maintains it as they cross the start finish line. Shuhart back to the cushion in one and two, coming after Allen, can't make a pass there. Cushion about three quarters of the way up the banking in turns three and four. Last night's feature winner now, making his presence felt. Giovanni Selzy ducks low into turn number one as he challenges the one S of Shuhart for that fifth position. Back underway in a battle for the lead out of turn four. David Gravel takes the top spot from Sheldon Hodenshield. David Gravel, your new race leader on lap number eight. Logan Schuhart now in the third spot in the 1S. Spencer based in running fourth and Carson Macedo in fifth. Sheldon trying to come back at David Gravel. Top two distancing themselves from the rest of the field as they work through turns one and two. They swap lanes. Gravel now on the cushion. Sheldon trying the bottom in one and two. Now both drivers to the high side entering turn three. Gravel low out of the corner. Donnie Schatz on the move. Closing in on the 83 of James McFadden. Right in front of them, Jacob Allen and Giovanni Selzy going at it. Battle for the lead heating up again out of turn number four. Sheldon Hottenshield is right there with David Gravel. Traffic a lap or so away. Sheldon good on the bottom in one and two. Gravel leads it, but Sheldon is right there with him. And Logan Schuhart getting a little closer to that lead duo as well. Cushion more than three quarters of the way up the bank. He now about a car width off the wall in turns one and two. And about that distance away from the concrete in three and four as well. 13th lap is complete for David Gravel. Brad Sweet has worked his way up to six. To the inside in three and four, looking for the lead. He pulls even with Sheldon Hodgson. Can't take him, but he is right there. 
Heavy traffic, top and bottom in one and two. Sheldon Hodgson maintains the lead, but David Gravel right there with him. Both drivers work the cushion in three and four. Sheldon forced down low into turn number one. Can't get by Robbie Price there, and now Gravel with a run off the top of the speedway. Three and four as they come for the two to go. Signal David Gravel with Sheldon Hodgson, but Gravel maybe tried a little too early on the bottom. He lost some ground there. But Sheldon still held up by Robbie Price in one and two. Gravel another chance for a run down the back straightaway. This time by, they will see the white flag in the JB Memorial. It is a third of a mile dash to a $20,000 top prize. Gravel follows Hodgson show to the cushion in one and two. They'll race down the back straightaway for the final time and into turns three and four. Gravel to the inside, but Sheldon down low to take that low groove away. Gravel to the cushion, but Sheldon Hodgson shield wins. Uh, man, again, I wish I could do three and four over again. Uh, I felt like there was no way he was going to go to the bottom there in the last lap, and he did, and uh, caught me off guard and then had to kind of chase my way up the track. Um, if I did that over again, I think I could have ripped the top and probably cleared them. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't do that. But we had a really good car. Um, starting fourth, uh, got the second on the outside, started second, got the lead on the outside. And uh, I thought I got a good jump uh, when I was in the lead and chose the outside, but I didn't use the straightaway grip on the bottom of the straightaway good enough. And uh, Sheldon had to run on me and, uh, you know, slid me and, and got the lead. But, uh yeah, it was tough. It was tough to pass lap cars that were running the top. I felt like the top, like uh, the cushion moved up and there was like a lane up there that you could just, I don't know, like slot car around there. So um, I found the bottom in three and four a couple times by accident with, uh, with a lap car. And I thought that was going to be my winning move there. And I thought I had a chance, an opportunity. And uh, yeah, he went to the bottom. Sheldon Hanschel went to the bottom, won him a race. So uh, yeah, that, that's uh, good for him. Congrats to him. He hasn't had the best year, so I know uh, those guys deserve it. They've been working hard. And uh, man, two seconds in a row kind of sucks. Uh, but uh, we've been fast and we'll win plenty of races. I was going to say, on the contrary, I mean, the, your last three races, a win in two second places. With as tight as the championship battle is points wise, consistency is key. Kind of how does this set you guys up, though, just knowing that you have this overall momentum, especially rolling into Houston? Yeah, obviously, it's a big week. <clears throat> it's only show up points. So we're there going there to win races. But um, yeah. Brad ran third both nights, so I gained a whopping four points on him. So that's just how tough this deal is. And uh, just got to thank everybody at Houston Speedway, uh, Billion Automotive, JRC Transportation, uh, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, um, Morrison Engines, Berryman Suspension, and uh, Maxim Chassis, and uh, Butler Built Seats. Couldn't do without all them. David Gravel, another runner up. Probably gonna pop some. Here, Seth, here, here, here. Right here? Yeah, I didn't even wear my headphones for the last four years. Yeah. Every track they have. Alright, guys. Made it to the house 4.28 a.m., put in about five hours and 45 minutes of driving. Bridesmaid two nights in a row. I'm going to bed. We'll be ready for Houston's.